Uh, let's see the solution of this one. Uh, it leads two planes to leave an airport at the same time. One plane uh, flies on the bearing of uh, 150 degrees at 4 kilometers per hour, and the other one on the bearing of uh, 230 degrees at 6 kilometers per hour. So the question is to find the distance between the two planes after four hours. So let's have a sketch of this one. Without uh, sketching the uh, movement of these planes. So let's suppose we do, this is our port. Put a thing, up and the day gain. I fly uh, on this bearing 150. So, bearing always lands from north to east. So, this is north and this is east. The good you could joke with a figure of this is 90 one quadrat, the good 150 is between here. So you may divange. Um, we needed to add something on 90. Could it but say uh, 150? So we're gonna add the 60. The we can have this. I think in the video so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but never. Yeah. And the we within 90 degrees. Have and within the 60 degrees. I mean, I could tell by that's 30 degrees. Don't know what if we add uh, 90 say in the 60 dollar by to read about 150 degrees. Definitely, that's plenty number one. And the community will be in the Google so community will take a case so Kakadima point. And at that hour, I'll now go to bank of fly. Uh, at 4 kilometers per hour, so let's put this one 4 kilometers per hour. So we have this one per hour, and the other one, the only thing it was your size. Uh, it's in the DAO, and we have here 150, yeah, something like that. And the other plane flies on a bearing of 230, they would be 230. Um, from north to east, I was a figure about 150, and they would have been the 180. 230, I will be between uh, this line and that line, which is in 30 quadrat. But remember, you say you make 270. So 230, they would be supposed to add 50 on 180. Eight. So we're going to have uh, uh, something like this. The Molimberian Kuluyaba. Something like that. It would be, we have this one. In the 180 degrees, in the 150 degrees. It would be, uh, you say you're 90, it would have to turn in the 40 degrees. We have 40 degrees there. And the and this one, the transform with Jambulira Gakadino. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, and in Kului, I will bang a fly at the six kilometers per hour. So we have this one as the I mean, the day, I mean, the day, the the day, 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 the when got only 50, I resorted to that one. This one will also be 50 degrees. 
Simina and Dogo. Come on, I think Angle of interest in Domera boy. So it's not related. And the day, uh, distance, Simina would also be the base. It's this distance. You guys have figured out. So we have a plane A. This is plane B. And this is our original point. So we can have our triangle. After four hours, see, you can fly at four kilometers per hour. So after four hours, they will run times four, which will give us 16 kilometers. And this one as well uh, is flying at six kilometers per hour. After four hours, they will times four hours, you will divide 24 kilometers. They will be going to have this kind of triangle. Uh, you have something like that, and the OU, you click on the big of one, it's an ND now, and we should join them like this. Yeah, something like that. So we have plane B, we have plane A, and we have original point here, and the angle we have is the sum of. Uh, uh, this 50 degrees, Muzo uh, Menequa Jogera 50, Commasso Menequa Jogera 30, Nabanga demonstrate. So the sum of those angles, that's uh, 80 degrees. So let's have this one 80 degrees, and the distance here OA, that is within the 16 kilometers. Distance covered after four hours, if it is traveling at four, uh, four kilometers per hour, and this one now within the 24 kilometers. If it is traveling at 6 km per hour, so after 4 hours, it will be the distance. Now, we should find the distance between two planes after these 4 hours. So, distance A and the AB. So, what we're going to do? Um, angle O is opposite to line O. And the angle O is opposite to this one. So, I should label this one as B. And the A are opposite to this line yeah, something like that. So to find this distance, uh, which have labeled it as O, we're gonna use the um, cosine law. The chumudi mabanga, the limba wudi O square is about uh, A square plus a B square, then minus two AB can have cos of O. I think oh you I cut one one two meter line. I'm going to O referring to that angle. You can account to find the B. The we can account B square is equal to A square plus A O square minus two A O. Then you can see B yeah, something like that. I'm going to make a Now um O the middle of no base. The number of O square is equal to and the 24 so we are putting there 24 plus b mm. the 16 so we are putting there 16 then minus 2 times c uh, 24 times c uh, 16 mm. then cos here 80 degrees mm. then here we're gonna have o square is good 24 square according to my calculator 24 squared that size is 576 then plus 16 squares should be 256. That's 256. Then uh, uh, minus 2 times 16 times 24. Answer divided by 720. I mean 768. Then here, cos 8. The side is going to be cos 8. Good answer, but again, cos 8 according to my calculator here, cos 8 the answer is 0 0.173648. Then, O square is about the sum of these 576 uh, plus uh, 256. Answer with the butter 832. Then if you subtract that one with the uh, 768, then the uh, DAO uh, 0 0.173648.
Asai guri patam. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Asa should be one three three point six three. One three three point three six. Yeah. Let me do it again. We have seven six eight. Then cos eight. Yeah, that's it. That's. So the difference between these two. We have eight three two minus one three three point three six. That's what we got. Six nine. So it is nine eight point six four. So to find the value here, oh, we're gonna square root both sides here. And we're gonna we're gonna have oh is equal to uh square root of that answer. Four point six four five 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 four point six uh, let's say uh, 26 kilometers. But since I take, that's how you're going to solve this problem. Here, my guys, it mind you, if you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as liking my Facebook page, Unique Online Classes Malawi. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best.